The Faith I Live By, a devotional by Ellen G. White. Food for my soul. And Jesus answered him, saying, It is written, that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word of God. Luke chapter 4, verse 4. The word of God is to be our spiritual food. The life of Christ that gives life to the world is in his word. It was by his word that Jesus healed disease and cast out demons. By his word he stilled the sea and raised the dead. As our physical life is sustained by food, so our spiritual life is sustained by the word of God. And every soul is to receive life from God's word for himself. As we eat for ourselves in order to receive nourishment, so we must receive the word for ourselves. In his promises and warnings, Jesus means me. The experience related in God's word are to be my experiences. Prayer and promise, precept and warning are mine. The creative energy that called the world into existence is in the word of God. The word imparts power. It begets life. Every command is a promise. Accepted by the will, received into the soul, it brings with it the life of the infinite one. The life thus imparted is in like manner sustained, by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. Matthew chapter 4 verse 4, shall man live. The mind, the soul, is built up by that upon which it feeds, and it rests with us to determine upon what it shall be fed. It is within the power of everyone to choose the topics that shall occupy the thoughts and shape the character. Youth, in the name of Jesus, I appeal to you whom I shall soon meet around the throne of God. Study your Bible. It will prove to you not only the pillar of cloud by day, but the pillar of fire by night. It opens before you a path leading up and still upward, bidding you go forward. The Bible, you do not know its worth. It is a book for the mind, for the heart, for the conscience, the will, and the life. It is the message of God to you, in such simple style that it meets the comprehension of a little child, the Bible, precious book.